again, greetings, and we just greet you to Vallejo First, a great church, serving a great God, equipping great people for a great life. Somebody give great God a good, a good praise. I just got to get used to being back in here. I, I've been on outside on the platform for so long, we just got to get used to being back in here. But again, we pray that your Holy Spirit would come and stay with us. We know that you are here. We know that you, you are willing to uh, give us another opportunity to change church. Not just to come here because we have to come, not because this is a habit that we have, but because we want to talk to you, because we need you. Because our heart is, has the desire to know you again. Um, I know that sometimes it's difficult uh, for people to come back. And, and not everybody feels comfortable. But I ask the Father that the people that are here today, they may feel comfortable because they know that you are here protecting us. I pray that you, uh, you uh, like the worship of our hearts, our mouths, and that, that, that we can actually do it uh, with love and respect to, your, to you, Father. And that we pray for those that are staying home, for those that will come later on. And uh, that at some point, not too far away, we all may, may be able to come and worship all together once again. We thank you, Father, for your presence. We thank you for the word that you have for us. And we pray that our hearts may be um, needing you today. In Jesus' name we ask you, Father. Amen. Amen. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing this fine? How's everyone doing? This is new, right? for me right now. This is just a wonderful feeling. I cannot begin to explain just being in just the house of God and just being right here, right now in this moment with everyone and seeing smiling faces and just, just being able to hear and just see reactions after a year and a half of being on stage and on a, in a parking lot and not being able to just physically just see everyone and just see smiles and hear reactions, right? So <laughs> this is new. This is new. So good morning, Vallejo First Church. We are a great church serving a great God, equipping great people for a great life. Amen? Amen. So before we begin, before we begin, I want to make sure that our heart's energy, our heart's energy matches the temperature in here today. Amen? Amen. And so I want to share a verse. I always like to share a verse. And see, with this one, I have a, I have a little big back context to share with it. Pastor and Jerry and I, we, we met a couple months ago to begin planning for today. And when we met, Pastor Jerry shared a verse. He already had it planned out. He shared a Bible verse as a theme for today. And I want to share this verse this morning with you. And I'm sharing Psalms chapter 122, verse 1 from the Message Version. When they said, let's go to the house of God, my heart leaped for joy. And that's the verse. In this Psalms, David writes about a time when someone invited him to church with this invitation. Let's go to the house of God. And David tells us that his heart, his heart leaped for joy. Amen. David was joyful. He was joyful to go to the house of God for three reasons. For three reasons. One, he was joyful to go to the house of God to praise God. Right. Amen? Right. And then second, he was joyful to go to the house of God because the people of God. Oh, such beautiful people here today. Yeah. Amen. Amen? And three, he was joyful to go to the house of God because of the peace of God. Amen. And after studying the verse, I understood why Pastor Jerry chose this specific verse for this morning. Because we are joyful. We are joyful to be here right now in this space, in the house of God, to praise God this morning. Amen? Amen. We are joyful to be here in this house, in the house of God, because
because of the people of God. Amen? And we are going to be here in the house of God because of the peace of God this morning. Amen? See, this past week, this past week, the pastoral staff, we met here inside, right here inside the sanctuary to do a, a, a walkthrough for today's service. David, Pastor David tried, you know, he tries to have us prepared. Sometimes it's a little hard work. Uh, but, uh, and so he had us come through and, you know, to do a walkthrough for today's service. And Pastor David, forgive me because I'm about to just spill some tea on you. <laughs> when we got here, when we came into the church, Pastor David had everything laid out. He had everything laid out for us as if we were coming to church today, right? He greeted us at the door. He handed us our, our little, how wonderful are these? Our little uh, tags to show, you know, how we're, but how the little tags to show what level of comfort we're at, right? Where we were at our comfort level, right? He had the worship music playing when we came into the sanctuary. The sanctuary smelled nice and refreshing like jasmine plants, flowers. And he had an outline for the worship service for today. And when he stood here behind this podium to greet us, the pastoral staff, he used one word that stood out to me. And that word was intentional. His greeting us at the door was intentional. Right. Being greeted inside the sanctuary with the worship music and the refreshing smell of jasmine was intentional. Even the outline was intentional. And on the outline, the title was Great Worship, with the acronym for the word great. He explained that he wanted to be intentional about the experience for each and every single person here today, right. using the acronym for the word great. And so I'm going to go re real briefly over his acronym for great. I told y'all about this. I'm about to spell all the tea on that All his blueprint secrets right now. <laughs> so G... G is for greetings. He wanted the greetings to be intentional. R is for relationship with God. He wanted to be intentional with creating, with creating a space, a space for us to have a relationship with God. E is for the experience, to experience, for to experience the word. Pastor David wanted to be intentional about us experiencing the word this morning. A is for adoration, assurance, and affirmation. Pastor David wanted to be intentional with our adoration for God. Intentional with God's assurance and affirmation. And finally, T is for tangible. Tangible. Intentional with precisely identifying our Father. The word intentional means doing something with purpose, deliberate. And as I listen to Pastor David, I thought about how he not only outlined his intentions for our experience for our great worship service, but he also outlined our experience for God's intentions for us. And yes, for God's intentions for us. God is intentional in his greetings to us every single morning. He greets us with breathing into us each morning. Amen? Amen. God is intentional with his relationship with us yeah. by covering us with his love, his grace, his guidance, his patience. God is intentional with his word, his scripture, the whispers in our ears. God is intentional with his word, the truth. Is God not intentional about his adoration for us? Does he not give us the reassurance and the affirmation of his love and grace. And finally, God intentionally identifies who he is in our lives. Amen? Amen. And see, we need to do what we need to do. We need to match Pastor David's energy, correct? Amen. We need to be intentional about our experience with God, too. We need to be intentional about our, intentional about our greetings to God. Yeah. How do you greet God every morning? We need to be intentional about our relationship with God. We need to be intentional about experiencing the word, his truth. 
We need to be intentional about our endorsing, our assurance, our affirmations. We need to be intentional about how we precisely identify ourselves to God. Because see, when we are intentional with God, that's when breakthroughs happen. When we are intentional with God, that's when strongholds break. When we are intentional with God, that's when miracles happen. Yeah. When we are intentional with God, that's when healing begins. Yeah. When we are intentional with God, that's when the fear diminishes. Yeah. When we are intentional with God, that's when anxiety falls away. Yeah. When we are intentional with God, that's when the tears will dry. Uh -huh. When we are intentional with God, that's when, when God will put you into position. Put you into a position. Amen. Position to be catapulted into the next level. The next level of your finances. The next level with your relationships. The next level with your health. The next level with your work, your business. The next level of abundance. Amen? Amen. 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 Now with that being said, I want to make sure that our heart's energy, our heart's energy matches God's energy right now. Right now.
One of the things I forgot to mention is that if you didn't know, this is a Nazarene church. In a Nazarene church, communion is open. If you're here and you want to take communion, there's no problem. Continue to read. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Do this as often as you drink in remembrance of me. Let us drink together. God, we are so grateful for what you've done to us and for us. And we give you all the praise. Before we get to that, we have a very special birthday. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Here today, among our family, sister, Nikechi, I always, where's my sister name? Sister Nikechi, she's going to come up here and she's going to bless us with a song today. She told me, do not forget, do not forget, I'm a singer. <laughs>
see how this feels. All right? Amen. Listen, let's pray. God, we just come down. We just thank you for this word. We thank you for what you're about to do and what you're about to say. Not me, God, but you, God. Speak now this thy people at this particular time for this particular purpose. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Listen, we're going to go to a scripture, a very well-known scripture. Uh, oh, you already have it up. All right, you're ahead of me. Amen. Uh, so, uh, John 8 and 36. John 8 and 36, God gave you this word, and it's an awesome word on today. I'm excited to share it with you. It's going to really bring home what this day really means. What this day really means. John 8 and 36. It says this. It says, uh, let me find it. It says, therefore, if the Son makes you free, you are free indeed. Do so y'all see that? Amen. Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you are you shall be free indeed. So listen, today we want to talk about the Declaration of Independence. I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know we all go back to Benjamin Franklin and all these old cats wearing wigs and stuff and stuff and, and signing this, this document to say that we were free, the Declaration of Independence, 1776. But no, no, it goes further back than 1776. It goes back to the cross. Are uh, y'all getting this? I'm already preaching. It goes, all, it goes back to the cross where the blood was shed just for us. That was our declaration of independence. So today I want to share with you from this start the declaration of independence. And then, um, not yet, not yet. Uh, let me give you a definition of what declaration means. Because I knew my cousin Dara was coming here. She's a PhD and all of that. My uncle Joel was going to be here. Didn't I, I mean, I, I got I to gotta give y'all what I got to give you. That word declaration means an open expression of facts. It's an open expression of facts. And it's a proclamation, a manifestation, a public announcement. So it literally means an open expression of facts. And then the word independence means a state of being not dependent. A state of being not dependent. Complete exemption from control of the power of others. And it also goes through your state of mind. So independence is a complete exemption from the control of others. Uh, another power and, and just being free. Y'all hear that? So today, today I wanna, I'm just going to give you this because I, I know that tomorrow is going to be good and I'm trying to get to it. And, and I know somebody that brought past some barbecue. So I'm going to just give you some ABCs. I'm, I'm going to just give you the ABCs of Pluto. Uh, how you say that in Spanish? A, B, and C. Huh? Okay. I'm just messing with you. I, I love it some Arturo. All right, so I'm going to just give you the ABCs, the ABCs of, 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 this, of this message, and it's going to be an A, it's going to be, it's going to be a C, right? So the first thing I want to show you is the A. It's the A. And the A is, uh, is accept the authority. Hmm. When you talk about the Declaration of Independence, you have to accept, accept the authority. Watch this. The word um, starts out that says, you know, if... Watch this. It, it has an if in there. It says, therefore, therefore, if the Son sets you free. So here it is. That word if, watch this, Dari, is a conditional particle. All right. It's a conditional particle. And the word if really means, sure, I, I got you. I was in education and everything, too. Was you in education? I, wonder, I don't know. Somebody was in education. So here it is. Oh, that's, uh, that's the Sherry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cheryl, Sherry. Sherry, Sherry. Sherry, Sherry. Okay, all right. Alright, alright, alright. So here it is, the if, conditional parts of when, and, and it literally means when or in case of. So, so it, it's not, it's, it's when you accept it, in case you accept it. Hmm. Are y'all getting this? So, so here it is, he says, this is Jesus talking. He says, therefore, when you accept it, and if you accept it, are y'all getting this? Yeah. It's up to you to accept it. Oh, that's when it was an education. That's what it is. Uh, so here it is. So he says, you can accept it or not, or when you accept it. And what you accept is the authority. Right. The authority is, is in the son. I love you, Billy Buckle. He's yeah. over there. All right, all right. Then, so here it is the son. The son is the authority. The son is Jesus. Yeah. And the son has authority. The son has the ability. The yeah. son is able because, watch this, Jesus 
Jesus has authority because of his assignment to abolish sin. And since he abolished sin, he has authority. Uh, now, 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 watch this. And, 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 and because of the blood, because of the covering, because of the cleansing, he has authority. In Philippians 2, verse 10 and 11, it says, At the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now watch this. Around this time, around this time, they do a naturalization ceremony, a naturalization ceremony on this uh, big ship. And they call in all of the people and they, and they welcome them as citizens to the United States of America. In other words, they give them their citizenship, citizenship papers and, and they go through this whole document and they do that under the authority of the United States of America. And that's just under the United States of America. Anyway, they can't do it for Brazil, they can't do it for China, they can't do it for Japan, they can't do it for Nicaragua. They got to only do it under the authority on which they were given. Here it is, Jesus said, look, I got all authority. I'm over everything. Can I speak in body real quick? I'm over everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when you accept the authority, you accept in Jesus' authority just to take care of you. You know he can handle it. Just, just accept it. Amen. Watch this. Um, uh, 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 oh, okay, uh, it's coming to me. I got, I got my Uncle Joe back there. I got Barry back there. They all know. I used to get a lot of whoopings. And, and, and I used to get a lot of whoopings. And, and the thing about our family, Jerry, is that not only could my mother whoop me, my uncle whoop me, my uncle would whoop me, Uncle Joe, all of them back there. You know, the cousins came here to chat. I had to accept the authority that my mama gave to everybody to allow them to check me. But y'all get me. <laughs> it made me who I am today. But here it is, is that part of the Declaration of Independence is to accept the authority of Jesus, him being your Lord and Savior, yeah. and by the blood, he has all authority. Yeah. From the covering, he has all authority. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. Yeah. Okay, let me give you some more. Let me give you some more. Uh, let me give you the B. Mm. The B is to believe the blessing. Yes. Believe the blessing. Come on. Uh, so, so, uh, come on, Billy. Keep getting out here. Now, now, I'm, I'm going to pause here to throw out a commercial um, because me and Billy, over the last pen, over the last year and a half, we've talked every day at 3 o'clock. Wow. Me and Billy. He, he, you know, I called him one day. He says, Pastor, I, I wish I could talk to you every day. I said, why not? So we talk every day. Wow. It's in my phone. Call Billy. So we got just a special connection. I just do that out for a minute. So Billy, just do what you do, Billy. You know what we do. So here it is. Believe the best. And, and it says in the scripture, uh, the son makes you free. Yes, it does. It makes you free. Yes, it does. Now, now, it makes you free. 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 Liberate. Free. Yep. Exempt from moral, ceremonial, or moral, mortal liability. Free means to deliver. Yep. So here it is. Jesus says, look, if you accept authority, believe the blessing that you can be free. Are y'all getting this? Yes. You got to believe it. Okay, let me give you that belief. Uh, believe, the acronym for believe is because Emmanuel lives, I experience victory every day. Ah. Yeah. That's good. And you know what? You know what, you know what, Barbara? That's how I remember how to spell believe. I'll be like, is it the I before the E or the E before the I? And then I'll recite that because Emmanuel lives, I experience victory every day. That's what I believe. So if I believe it, watch this. I gotta believe the blessing that God gave me. Yes, right. yes. And the blessing that God gave us and everybody in the sound of my voice today is the blessing to be free from the bondage of sin. That's, that's the blessing of Jesus said it will make he makes you free. Amen. And when it's free, watch this, it's freely given. Yes. Don't cost you nothing. Amen. You don't have to pay nothing. nothing. Are y'all hearing me? Some of us, some of us kind of low on our money now. Our change is strange and our money is funny. But he says it don't cost you nothing. It's free. It's freely given. And then watch this. Watch this. Watch this, Kelly. He says, just as you are. Amen. That's the blessing of it. He says, it makes you free. You can come just as you are. That's the blessing. You don't got to brush your teeth. You ain't got to comb your hair. Just come just as you are. 
Well, let me just say it like I want to say it. I, I know we've been outside the building for the last year and a half, but we've still been having church. We've still been loving God. God's still been blessing us. God's still been taking care of us because He takes care of us in and out. So here it is. And it's just as we are. And watch this. The blessing to be free from sin is that it's instant. Yes, sir. It's instant. Let me explain that. When you get free from jail, <laughs> then y'all get in jail before. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't none of y'all been to jail. For those of us who've been to jail, <laughs> when you get free from jail, they lock you up. Then they tell you you're free. And in order for you to be free, you got to go through this door. Then you gotta go through that door. Then you gotta go through process. Then you gotta get your stuff back. Then you gotta wait on them to, to do some other stuff. And then you hear all the click, clack, clack. Then you gotta go through another door. Finally, when you get to the final door, then you step out and you're like, oh, I'm finally free. You see how many doors you had to go through just to be free? God says it ain't that way with him. When you accept, when you accept and get free from the bondage of sin, Jesus says only one door. Right, right. 
He, he said, watch this. He says, you will be, you shall be, you are having. He said, so he set it up in the future that if you fall into some stuff that gets you locked down, bondage down, um, weighed down, he has a declaration of independence. Amen. He, has, he said, look, he said, you shall be, and the first free doesn't mean the same thing as the, I mean, second free doesn't mean the same thing as the second free. Did I say it right? The no. second free don't mean the same thing as the first free. Come on. And, the first, and the second free means, uh, it literally means unrestrained. To go at your pleasure. Here's my favorite one, Jerry. Um, uh, 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 Ricky. The second free means to be not a slave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. the, the second free means exempt from obligation exactly. or liability. And the word indeed means really, certainly, that's the truth. So, so that's the truth. So here it is. Jesus is telling us, he says, look, um, I need you to celebrate with confidence that you shall be future tense, unrestrained, not a slave, really. Mm. This is the truth. You can believe me. He said, nothing is going to enslave you. You're going to be free of me. The bondage of sin is complete. The broken, you're, you're free from that. Complete in every sense of the word. All right, all right. Come on, come on. Every sense of the word. Now watch this. And when God frees you, he operates not only on your physical freedom, but on your character. Come on. Woo! Woo! So, so he, he operates on your character. He operates, he, he operates on freeing you up of some stuff in your character that's keeping you enslaved. Woo! That's keeping you locked down. Yeah. Oh, y'all looking at me like y'all don't know what that is? <laughs> Watch this. I'm going to say one word that can lock you down in your character. One word. And I'm going to turn around because I don't want to see y'all expression when I say Stubborn. <laughs> That can lock you down. All right. Stubborn. You know it. You know you're wrong. You know you did wrong. But you're just going to be stubborn. No. Right, right. <laughs> so here it is. Here it is. He says, look, you shall be free. He says, look, I'm going to free you up. God works on your character. So we need to celebrate with confidence. Amen. Okay? We need to celebrate with confidence. Uh -huh. He's on your right. He's on your left. He's on the side. He's a big God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Here we go. I'm going to give it to him. It's this thing, it's this spirit 
called Facebook yeah. that binds us. Amen. Well, well, well. I'm, I'm talking about me. Amen. You listen, um, as much as I try to get free from this thing, and I didn't took myself off Facebook, hold my account down, open back up, because I found myself getting on it first in the morning. Right, right. 30, 45 minutes, just being nosy. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at everybody's stuff. God, <laughs> like, how you gonna look at this 45 minutes? <laughs> and give me five. Right, right. On the way out the door. <laughs> And I'm talking to myself because I was free from it because I took myself off. Then I got back home. Oh. And now I find myself doing it again. Oh. So I gotta check myself. Tell the truth. Yeah. Mm. All right. I'm not gonna check Facebook until five o'clock in the daytime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna start, I'm not gonna do it in the morning. Right. Because the morning is for God. That's right. I'm talking to me, y'all. This is my declaration of independence from Facebook. So I hope if I was wrong to you, don't get mad. I'm just making a declaration of independence today. And watch this. Because I, I, can, I can celebrate with confidence because the chains, the restrictions are gone. I can celebrate. Okay, let me give y'all something to think about. And then he says, the, the writer goes more to it. He says, if you're really free, then your lodging place will change. Mm -hmm. where, you, where you live and how you live right. changes. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, he says, if you're really free, then uh, what you do for a living, not occupation, but, it's, but you won't be a slave to what you've been slave to before. But I just said, I was a slave to Facebook. Amen. So I'm going to free myself from being a slave to Facebook. Right. Y'all hear that? You can't be slaves to something. That's right. The dollar. All right. Alize. <laughs> Changere. <laughs> Bastier. <laughs> food. Soap hours. Ooh, soap hours is a big one. Man, you want to watch them soap hours that get you caught up so bad? So, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to change. I'm not going to be slaves to anything. And then I, and if you watch this, here's a good one. That's my good if you have your declaration of independence, you should want to help somebody else get their declaration of independence. All right, right. If I'm free, I want to help somebody else be free. Yeah. Are y'all feeling me? Yeah. So, so I can show them the ABCs of how to be free. <clears throat> so here it is. And then, and then last thing, and then I'm done, is that uh, since I'm going to be free from the bondage of sin, then I want to put it in me and keep it and hold it tight that I hate all the change. Mm -hmm. I hate all the sin that used to enslave. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm using a very harsh word. I hate it because I don't want it to chain me up again. Because right. today I got a declaration of independence, so I don't want it to chain me up again. Are right. y'all here? Mm -hmm. So here it is. Here, so, so watch this. I intentionally made the bulletin. With the declarations on the front. Right. Do y'all see that? Where you can declare according to the word of God so many things over your life. Amen. Do y'all see that? Oh man, you thought I was just picking a bullet to just be making a go. The declarations are right there. Right. Amen. Right. And then I can add some more to it. Because today I declare independence yes. over what people think about you. Oh, people think about me. Forget about what they think about you. Amen. Amen. You got look. You got declaration of independence today. Wear a red sock and a green sock if you want to. <laughs> Amen. Somebody wear a brown and yellow if you want to. I don't know if they match or not. Well, I mean, just wear what you want to. That's right. Why are you worried about what folks think? Whoa, whoa. Right. So declaration of independence. And then, I was just, and then I, if you're free, it shouldn't be a problem rising up All right. and letting the praise come out of you. That's right. 
And then I, I got to do this. I got to do this. Because I declare independence over anybody who has a spirit of suicide. You are free today. I declare the, the, the independence over anybody who has anxiety issues. You are free today. I declare independence over anybody who's dealing with depression. You are free today. I declare independence over alcoholism, over addiction, over anything that might keep you bound. You have independence today. Why? Not because I said so. Because the son says so. And if the son says so, and Jesus says so, hallelujah, it is done. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If the son sets you in free, sets you free, you are free indeed. Let's pray, let's pray. God, we just come down and just thank you for this word. On the declaration of independence. Of being free. Whatever's keeping us bound. Whatever's keeping us from, uh, from, from really being who we really can be. God, we just pray that you just let it go now, God. Let it go. You have your declaration of independence. So God, we just thank you. Thank you. Thank you for freeing us up. The world sets aside this day to celebrate that. But God, we want to celebrate every day of being free from what you have set us free from. And listen, listen. There may be somebody here who wants to receive the Lord Jesus into your life. Amen. And we just offer Christ to you all today. You may be here and you say, God, Pastor, I've never allowed God to come into my life. Today is the day. Today is your day of independence. So if you're here and you've never accepted the Lord into your life, just lift your hand with you. Lift your hand with you. Maybe you have. You say, Pastor, I've accepted the Lord into my life, but I find myself still chained up. And I just want to make sure... And I'm good today and I just want to rededicate my life to God today to be free indeed. If that's you, you want to rededicate your life, just lift your hand. Lift your hand. Maybe you hear you say, well, look, I just need a good place to call home. And I'm liking where this great church is going. If that's you, and you want to make believe first, the great church from your home, just lift your hand. Lift your hand. I want all of us to stand up and just, if you have been free and you know you got your declaration of independence, I need you to respond to this. Amen. You catch it? You catch it?
you don't see me around 11.30, I'm going outside because we still want to be doing a parking lot service at 11.30. But I'm going to invite them in to get some tomorrow and then we can tell us your kids. So, all right, repeat after me. Say, Lord, let that be.